What the? It's me. It's you. I'm... I'm me. I'm you from the future. What... What do you mean? I've come back to warn you. Warn me about what? Mankind is in great peril. You need to buy more guns. Are you sure? I have a ton of guns. The video that I made where I showed them all took FOREVER! It's not enough. You always joke about assembling the demolitia. It's actually going to happen. You're mankind's last hope. What's going on? We're being hunted. By the ATF? No! Mankind is being hunted. By what? Aliens? Zombies? I knew it. Worse. Vegans? No. Who then? They're already here. Raccoons. Raccoons? Raccoons. Are you saying raccoons? I'm saying raccoons. Like the little trash pandas? Like a, like a garbage ninja? Yes. So why are you calling them raccoons? Focus! Their population exploded late 2022, and ever since then, for 40 years, the human raccoon war has raged. How old are you? You look great. We went vegan in 2023. Hey! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt, and I am glad that you are here. Oh, I double charges still. Whew. It's not loaded. In case you didn't know. This is actually my first 545 AK. So this is an AK-105 made by Palmetto State. Uh, it is chambered in 545, and you know, most AKs are chambered in 762. 545 caliber has kind of become sort of sort of popular. It's kind of hot right now, and I'd always kind of thought it was cool to try it. It's a small little bullet going much faster than a 762 by 39 And this is an American-made Palmetto State Armory AK-105, chambered in 545, and we're gonna run it today. It has a kind of a goofy looking break on here, and it's it's because this is a 12 and a half inch barrel, and so that's a pinned and welded like break on there to get the rifle length barrel. So this is a rifle, has a folding stock, which needs some lubricant to make it work right but sweet little package. So this is one that uh, I wanted to get for a bit because I wanna make a really cool tactical AK. Been watching Garand's videos lately and he has all the cool furniture and everything on the AKs and I want something that's cool like that. And this gun has been doing really well in his test, the freezing test. I think this was the king of the freeze test. So similar gun. And we are gonna try it today on this, it is solid copper. You probably, if you've watched How Ridiculous, have seen a ball just like this before. We have similar balls. Their ball is an Australian ball and mine is American ball. Uh, both exactly the same though, made of copper. Uh, we got them from the same spot. And I was supposed to get this a long time ago, it just took forever in shipping. So they put their video out probably a month ago and they called me out in it and said, we destroyed this ball we think we can destroy our ball more than you can destroy your ball. So together we're gonna to destroy our balls. Um, they got a giant hammer. Uh, it was super tall. I would say 30 feet, I can't remember, 30 feet tall. They made this huge hammer, pulled it up with a winch and then dropped it repeatedly on their ball and squished it and made it sort of flat on the sides, kind of turning their ball into a square. I was like, I got guns, which y'all don't have in Australia. So we're gonna see what we can do with guns against a solid copper ball. Starting with something smaller than this first. I got something else new that you guys really like. This, well this gun I've had, this is a Christensen Arms 22. it's got a carbon fiber barrel. But I got this new suppressor from Texas Silencer Company, made for 22. It's titanium, so super light, can't even feel that it's on there. And listen, I'm just gonna shoot it in the dirt first. Listen how quiet. All right, first shot's always louder, listen now. Ooh. That one was louder too. Okay, we're gonna shoot the ball now. 22 is gonna do absolutely nothing to this copper sphere, but I just kinda wanna see what it will do. Hold on, I've, I've got more. Let's shoot steel. Still got more. We're still going. Dirt. Dude, how many did I put in this thing? Apparently, 
I have the infinite ammo on right now. Oh no, I just turned off the infinite ammo. Copper's pretty soft metal. Oh, that's cool. That's just our 22 still totally on there, just smashed against the copper. Let's see if it'll pop it out. That's all lead. Oh my gosh, you see me almost cut my finger right there? Probably gonna do it now. All right, that's just gonna stay. 22, did not damage it much so far. How ridiculous is winning, but I've got bigger guns. Next up, nine millimeter, Canic. This is the, uh, the this is, I just always said meta, but I actually walked by the Canic booth and he pronounced it different. It's like, I don't remember, but it's not meta. Nine millimeter, see if I can get this thing on target from here. I don't know if I've ever actually shot it this far. I don't know if I hit it or not. It actually dented it pretty good. That's cool. But not that bad. So we're going to have to get into the rifles, which I anticipated the 22 and the 9 not doing a whole lot. So let's go ahead and move up to a rifle. More speed, more penetration. Everybody's happy with more penetration. Next up, the rifle round. We got the 545 by 39. Uh, I haven't ever shot this gun, so this is, actually, this gun has never been shot. So let's just see how it does against some steel. Woo! Dude, the fireball. Woo! Let's go faster. That's pretty cool, but we should do it like a little bit more epic. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Who is this? Hello? Oh, hey, Michael Bay. You want to direct and edit the next part of my video? I don't know, man. We got a lot going on over here. I don't know if you can handle it. All right, I'll give you a shot. Let's see what you can do. shooting solid metal with rifle rounds so we're gonna do it with the gun hooked down to a vise and we're gonna how did this happen go back here with the string and hide behind cover I've done aluminum magnesium block lead block steel tons of steel we've done a bunch of different metals and metals are just scary especially the softer metals because the bullets super fast so it goes in makes a crater in the metal that's pointing right back at where it shot from and it fires chunks of metal back at you I've been hit by aluminum, lead got me, uh, magnesium didn't, it all like exploded and burned, but none of it's enough to like kill, probably. It just doesn't feel very good. So this is uh, what we have set up right here. It's in a vise hooked it with a jacket so I don't hopefully scratch up my brand new gun. And yeah, we do this. We found this one on the ground. This is one of the ones that AK guy shot, excuse me, AK Lord, your majesty, I'm sorry. AK Lord shot a bullet into a box and uh, it's a little bent. But AKs are made to run on bent bad ammo, so it should be fine. Giddy up, partners. We're gonna get behind this wall and see what we can do. I'm actually leaving my ears off because I want to hear how loud it is. All right, we got tension, here it goes. Do you think we hit it? What? <laughs> I think most of the bullets just sitting in there. Huh, I thought it would make like a crater. It just like stuck the bullet in it. Yep. Let's get a bigger gun. Next up, just another AK, totally normal AK. Definitely not chambered in 762x54R. Okay, we should go back there. Black out and fire the big boy. That is not quiet. 
This is crazy. So normally when we shoot these big things of metal, we get more of like craters. This is just making a hole big enough for the bullets to go in and they're going in and just sticking. I'm done messing around. It's time to get out a much bigger gun. And we're gonna show how ridiculous what's up because so far we've done basically nothing. I got my gold Barrett M107A1 and we have a silver tip, which is an armor piercing, definitely not incendiary round, just silver. Yep, because incendiaries are not legal on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna load her in here. This is gonna be good. It's gonna go in, totally split it in half, no question. Slack out. Oh. Firing. <laughs> it just fell off the table. I looked up to see if the ball was still there and it just went plop. That was loud. I don't ever fire 50 BMG without ears on, but I was so far away I wanted to hear it. And I could hear like boom and then I heard echo. Boom, boom. It was cool. I didn't tell you all this thing's super heavy. Interesting. So you can see that it made a big crater there, which is the first real crater we've seen. I don't see it though. And there's a center hole where that penetrator tip went deep. And there's a burn mark around here from the non-incendiary part of the round. Overall, how ridiculous is definitely still in the lead. We have not really hurt this ball that much at all. It still is a round ball that rolls on a table. I just don't want them to beat me. You know, it's it's not the American way to let some Australian schmucks beat you. I've got an idea though. One sure shot way to hurt this fear. Saphir. Oh, by the way, if you like my shirt, we made an AK-74 shirt because AK-74s are awesome. Link in description. Uh, also, sometimes when I use this warp channel, uh, it changes my clothes. Ugh. Follow me, guys. Ugh. 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 Oh, hey, we're out of drive tanks now. To mess this thing up more than how ridiculous did. First up, flamethrower, not the tank. We're gonna have to step it up even more. We're gonna shoot a 20 pound projectile out of a scorpion tank at this ball from like 20 feet away. So this is a British tank and we have, they're bore sighting it. So we actually like look straight down the barrel from the inside to see that ball. So there's hopefully a really good chance. How old's this tank, Spencer? This one would have been- um, Not super old, but not new. Yeah, you know, after World War II, so. Yeah. Got some so age. So it's got some age on it and uh, be hard to shoot from far back. So what we're gonna do is put it up close so we have a really good chance of hitting it and then we're gonna pull it with a string. Much like we do with all the sketchy stuff on the channel, we just pull it with a string from a distance. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but with the tank. We've got this long cable uh, going to our firing mechanism on the tank, so we're gonna Lean into it. I'm just gonna wrap it around. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can hit this thing. Oh, there's a lot of slack to pull out. <laughs> I'm still scared like something's just gonna bounce back and hit us. Let's see what happened. It looks like we nailed it. It was on the tire there. I think we pushed it through the whole truck. I think it came out right there, and then it's up here on the hill. Oh my God, it went through it. Almost, oh, it's hot. It's real warm. Dude, <laughs> that's so cool. It's got a handle now. It's actually easier to pick up than it was before. There's our solid copper ball. 
and it looks like it kind of caught the, I wish we could find the round too. The round's probably here somewhere. It looks like it kind of caught the round and then just carried along with it. <laughs> That's pretty wild. So you can see rifling here. So that thing, that barrel's rifled. And so that thing is spinning coming out of here. So you can see these marks where it was spinning coming in and then just kind of went boom. Tip of it stuck right there. And this is such a malleable metal that it absorbed a lot of it. And then it just carried it all the way through the truck and back to that berm back there. Freaking wild. So crazy. And it was hot too. You can see where it has some temperature change on that metal right there. So it makes it that rainbow colored. So insane. And the whole thing, it's not too hot to touch, but it's real warm right now. Go check out How Ridiculous this video where they had a copper sphere as well. And let me know who did it better. But if you don't want to watch it, I'll tell you what happened. Basically, they were like this. That's it. And then Demolition Ranch came in and they were like, kaboosh, boosh, boosh, boosh. Crazy like that. Thanks to Drive Tech for letting us come out. Thanks for watching this video and check back later because we have a graphite cube. How ridiculous has one as well. We'll do another competition to see who can destroy it the best. Thanks for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor.